Hi everyone, it's me, Carol, back with another tutorial for you guys. Uh, before we get started though, I just wanted to give you the happy news that Rotan is still riding the train of Corona clean over here. Yes, we are. Super excited. Uh, I thought it only appropriate to stay on that train of cleanliness today and talk about how to clean and maintain our school equipment from home. Get it nice and ready next time you come down and visit Weston Divers, yeah? Okay. Uh, today's tutorial is going to focus specifically on how to clean your second stage. Now, disclaimer, I'm going to be showing you how to do this on my Scuba Pro regulator. I love Scuba Pro, go team Scuba Pro, but you might bat for a different team, aka you might own a different brand of regulator and that's okay. That's totally okay. All are welcome to watch this tutorial. Just don't freak out when you open your regulator and it looks a little bit different than what I'm about to show you, okay? Uh, what I would recommend, especially if this is your first time exploring inside of your scuba equipment, I would have your phone nearby and get ready to take some pictures of the process along the way. Make a nice little trail of gingerbread crumbs for yourself because it is important that this goes back together the same way that it was taken apart, yeah? Okay, uh, let me show you what I have for cleaning supplies. I have a bucket of soapy water, nothing fancy. I just made it with dish soap from my kitchen. Super mild, safe for everything inside. I have a bucket of fresh water for later. And I have a super soft toothbrush. So as long as you have all these things, let's get started. My regulator used to have a pin right here. So if yours is anything like mine, that pin needs to come out in order to get your face plate off. Just pop it out with a needle nose pliers or a flathead screwdriver, set it aside, keep it safe, and screw off the face plate to your regulator. Mine has two pieces. So I separate them and put them in the soapy water. This is your diaphragm. This helps contribute to the regulation process, see? When I inhale, the diaphragm comes with it. It's held on by two washers. One, two. This is your actual diaphragm. Uh, it's a hardy little beast, but it has a big job, so we wanna be super careful with it. Pop it in the water, soak it like you would your laundry, yeah? Okay. Look at this, super shiny. That's what we're going for. And for today's tutorial, this is all the further we're gonna break our regulator down, yeah? Uh, it can be broken down further, but for that, you need a certified professional. And I would recommend getting one at least once a year. It's part of the servicing process and part of your responsibility as being a gear owner. But look, look at all the places. Look at all the nooks and crannies for crap to hide. Great places for bacteria, especially if you've ever thrown up in your regulator. All of us have been there, but it can get really nasty in there and that's what we wanna clean out. So take your toothbrush, dip it in the soapy water, and scrub it up down. Brush it like you're brushing your teeth. I hope you know how to brush your teeth. But get all up in there, nice and thorough. You can approach from the front Give your mouthpiece a nice little scrub, make it all minty fresh for the next time you wanna put it in your mouth. Once you are satisfied with the level of clean, it's time to rinse. Okay, I have a big bucket of fresh water here. You can also take it under the tap, but do not push this button. Yeah, okay. We do not want, while the tank, or while the regulator is not hooked up to a tank, while it's not hooked up to pressure, we do not want water back flowing through our hoses and risking damage to our first stage. No, we don't. So we dip and rinse. Dip and rinse. Easy as pie. Don't push the button. Now, you can do the same thing with each of your pieces. Take them out of the soapy water and pop them in the fresh water. If they still have a little bit of gunk on them, scrub them. They're nice and clean. Diaphragm. Gentle 
Bud Daryl. Okay, everything is rinsed. You'll have a choice to make. Depending on how long your regulator is going to be stored, you could dry each of these pieces before reassembling or you could put it back together right away. I'm going to put it back together right away just so that you guys can see what I'm doing. I want to start and do it exactly how I took it apart. So diaphragm. Washers. And I'm going to run my finger all the way around, make sure it's sitting nice and flat, making a good seal. And finally, my face plate. Screw my face plate back on. Remember, you have to get the two holes to line up if you want the pin to go back inside. Once you have your face plate on, though, you're done. Good job, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, Feel free to write them in the comments below. If you're thinking something, somebody else is probably thinking the same thing, or maybe an email. I love to help, but we'll be here for you guys, either now or when you decide to come back and visit us. Otherwise, stay safe and Corona clean. Thanks for stopping by.